Hello everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops, and today we're going to show you how to take a D-rate out of a Cummins QSF engine using the Texa Off-Highway software. I'm just going to go ahead and get us connected here through the industrial engine option. We'll choose diesel injection, and this will be a 1939 Core 2 proprietary protocol. So we'll click confirm here, and we're just using a standard 9 pin on this engine. We'll give this a second here to load up, and we'll actually hit confirm and it'll take just a few seconds here to actually connect to that engine okay once connected we see we've got two codes here one for def quality and then of course our d-rate right here that's 3714 code all right so the first thing well let's go talk a little bit about coverage on it um your parameter side you're looking at 159 parameters and you actually have a dashboard feature here built in as well you got four different uh, views of this here to look at the different systems on the engine and this will give you the same parameters you're looking at or live data you'll see in the parameters tab here in just a second whenever we back back out I'm going to scroll through this really quickly just kind of give you guys an indication of what type of live data you can look at um, but we want to get into we'll look at ECU info this will show you this is a QSF 2350A engine here and then under the activations tab this is some of the tests you can run here with it but we want to get into our settings tab here and talk about how to actually get rid of this d-rate so the first thing we're going to be looking for here we'll scroll down so we're going to be looking for a counter because currently the engine will not start okay so we're going to want to reset this and you'll find this under final inducement restart we'll restart the counter we'll click confirm here and you now can make these changes offline. You can make, uh, you can do five online changes here um, without actually being connected to the internet. So we'll close this information box out and currently the value is at zero. So we want to change this to four. We'll just input four here. We'll click confirm. Next step of this is going to ask us to cut that key off. We confirm here. I'm going to kind of fast forward through this part so you guys don't have to wait 30 seconds there and then 30 more seconds here once we go to reconnect. Once we're reconnected, I'm going to go back to our faults. You can see nothing's changed here, but we do want to check our maximum restart limit. Make sure this also changed too far with it. This did. Okay. I'm just going to erase that out since it's already set for four. We'll hit cancel and show you here that the restart counter did change as well that's set to four all right so in order to get the codes out now we actually need to scroll back up and there is a manual procedure here for getting it out of d-rate we'll click start it's going to give you some information on how to do it but we're going to go ahead and walk you through it here all right our faults are currently active next step we want to clear these faults so we're going to confirm here i'm going to speed up this uh waiting process for you guys get back connected and then we can see all the codes are cleared now except for the 3714 for our D rate now the next step of this procedure we're actually going to go down here I'm going to click clear we're not going to go ahead and confirm that yet we need to let the engine run here for just a few minutes um, I'm not going to have you sit here and wait the two minutes the engine's running so we're just going to kind of fast forward through this product and once you have finished that you're going to cut the key off key back on and we'll click this clear function one more time key back off press confirm fast forward through this section and then we'll get back connected here and you should actually see this code go inactive at this point so there's no longer a d rate on the engine um, it's just as simple as that to clear these out using the Texas off-highway software thanks for watching